Assessing the economic and physical impacts of environmental policy has long perplexed decision makers. For example, if you increase water use here, what effect does that have, say, over here? And how might that affect a farmer's bottom line? But a new tool from Landcare Research looks set to change that. The model in its heart is an economic model, but it's able to actually um, determine what or how the, the farm income would actually respond to things such as a resource constraint. So in other words, we're limiting the amount of water. It would also um, be able to tell us how it might respond to some of the policy designs like trading instruments or how you might allocate a limit across a catchment. So we set about developing this solely for regional councils, but of course it's also being used by MPI, for example, um, having a look at some of the implications that are being talked about within the Land and Water Forum on, um, on how to actually limit water quality um, or how to put place limits on water quality and also how you might like to allocate them, for, for instance. So with all the required data for a particular catchment fed into the model, we can now more accurately predict economic and environmental outcomes caused by a particular environmental policy. As system designer Adam Dagner explains. When we do an environmental policy, what we might do is put a cap on uh, nutrient leaching that would say actually the, uh, in the future uh, we want to reduce uh, leaching by 20%. When you rerun the model saying that this uh, 5,400 tons has to be reduced by 20%, what it then does is recalculate all these different numbers and shows how perhaps the distribution of land use might change and the overall uh, net revenue might change as a result. And the model is being further developed to take into account more factors. So it currently covers water quality, uh, it does greenhouse gas emissions and carbon sequestration, but we're also looking at incorporating water yield, pollination and also sediment loss into the model. And over time we'll add more of those services. So far the model's been developed for the Hurunui, Waia and the Manawatu River catchments, but can be adapted to other areas with the input of the appropriate data. So, with the help of the NZ Farm model, councils and planners will be able to make more informed decisions for the future.